This is what U.S. commanders in Afghanistan fear the most, a weak Afghan police force. In cell phone video obtained by CBS News, police are seen surrendering their weapons and ammunition to the Taliban. Could be cowardness. The Ministry of Interior spokesman Zamarai Bashari says the incident is under investigation. He says the tape is authentic but doesn't tell the whole story. These scenes took place after a fierce firefight where two police were killed and three wounded. They were scared. In order to be protected, they submitted whatever they had with them. The performance of Afghan national security forces is crucial to the new strategy here. There will never be enough American boots on the ground to mount an effective counterinsurgency campaign in this mountainous and vast country. The new U.S. plan relies heavily on boosting numbers of Afghan forces. The plan commanders here have sent to Washington would see police numbers double, from 78,000 to 160,000 by next year, along with a bolstered army. That would be a total of 400,000 Afghans in uniform. But numbers alone will not win this war. The whole force needs more training, and every officer needs to believe that they are a part of the new Afghanistan, and it's worth fighting for. Mandy Clark, CBS News, Kabul.